The Real Show is brought to you by UCS Facility Management Limited, Omni Basic Bank and Dewdrop Hand Sanitizer. Welcome to the second segment of The Real Show and we have Stephanie Benson in the studios. The amazing, the evergreen, forever young. I mean, I could go on and on, and you look amazing as usual, so Thank you speak you. for itself, so. Thank you, my dancing look came in today. <laughs> <laughs> now you look so young, what's the secret? I do, I think it's because I feel good from within. Because oh, when you feel amazing. good from within, you, it, it shows, radiates. Yeah. I really think I look my age, I just feel good from within. Oh, you look And so amazing. I think that's what people see, that, that person who's sort of happier, you know, happy. <laughs> Yes, and so let's, let, can we know your Ghanaian name? Ha! Yeah. Okay, this is what I love. <laughs> I love this part where everybody says, what is your Ghanaian name? Yes. It's a queer. Every time I say it, I have to like do yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> a queer. Or henua esinim akotokre akwasuhima. Whoa. I thought I knew it. I knew only princess in Kia or henua. Whoa, that's yeah. a lot. Nice. I know. Well. I love my name. I mean, I don't know. I think all through growing up, my mother used to say it so often that I, it just rolls <laughs> off my tongue, you know. But usually, especially when I'm naughty, so. Oh, so anytime she uses it, you know there's trouble. Yes, I hear, okay, you know what I'm saying? You need some money. Yes. <laughs> All right, now let's talk You're about You're beautiful, music. by oh, the way. Thank you, thank nice. you. Oh. Are you married? No, I'm not married. I'll find you someone. Ah, <laughs> I just covered my face on screen. Oh, you're fun to be <laughs> around. And let's talk about music, okay? You seem yes. to be written in jazz music. And you are seen as somebody who is very free-spirited, happy, lively, and sensual. Would you say that's because of the kind of music you're into? Or no. you're rooted in? I mean, initially, I was signed to um, um, uh, a label that, you know, made me do pop. Nice. Pop music, dance music. So I was predominantly a pop dance artist. But, <laughs> no, but I, you know, the, the kind of music I did, I knew that nobody would know in this yeah. country. So when I came here, I didn't even speak about it. But that's what, all I did, pop music and dance music. Um, and um, jazz came later, um, mm. actually. So, no, I write what I feel. I mean, yes. writing for me is easy. I studied literature, so I'm very expressive. So, and I write what I feel. So what I'm writing is just what I'm, my thoughts are. And because I love people and I'm always around people, mm -hmm. I'm always getting to know people. I want to hear yeah. what people have to say. <laughs> so I put that on my, in, into my writing as well. Yeah. So everything I write about, it's not just my experiences. Well. It's from people that I hang out with as well. Well, way back in 2014, I was a Malika finalist, and then we were in your mansion. You know, you were taking us through oh music. Oh my God! We I'm sang some of your songs. You familiar. Yes, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Well, it's been a long time, oh so it's yes. probably anywhere a lot. You saw many faces. And so we it's went okay. into my wardrobe as well, didn't we? Oh, we went everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I have so, a whole room, probably this <laughs> as big as this. Full of clothes, and we were oh, trying nice. them all, weren't we? And we danced. We danced. We sang with, oh, you're fun to be with. But yeah. looking at, you know, what I saw even at that time, is it safe to say that you actually live music? It's, it, it seems to be more than what you do. Yeah, it is. I mean, I am music. I mean, the thing is, I always say that if you love music, you become it. So when people say you should um, give up, I'm thinking, what am I? I mean, I, it means I might as well just die. Because, <laughs> yeah, because my soul is music. Um, I, I, I breathe music. I walk and eat music, you know, in my house with my children, we're always singing, we're always messing around, we're always coming up with some kind of ridiculous dance routine, you know, um, it, and from growing up as well and with my children. So I think I could never stop doing music. The thing is, if I do it and you want to listen, listen. If you don't want to listen, that's okay too. But <laughs> that's what I love to do. You I can't give it up. It, yes. I know. Well, you have a new single out. Tell us about that. I mean, my time is up. Oh, no. Tell us okay. about that. My music. Okay. <laughs> it's called Asamaba. Mm-hmm. Asamaba. Asamaba. Asamaba, bet it to me. Which is me. Asamaba, I'm not going to be able to do it. Asamaba, I'm not going to be able to yeah, it's a, it's a rap, and it's got this, you know, bit in there. But, yes, it, it's, it's sort of naughty rap. The words are not rude, but they're a bit hard-hitting. Do you know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Yes, and most people may not want to hear it, but me, I've said it. That's a very expressive and direct. A very, very expressive and direct. What Some inspired of the words are, you to write that? Um, I saw that a lot of young people are aspiring to, um, you know, 
a lot of fakeness on social media. Yeah. I'm not saying that some people think, you know, me messing around at home with my family or is contrived. It isn't. It's as real as it gets. Um, but, but when I say fakeness, I, I think some women are projecting something on social media as in um, how they probably get, you know, acquired their well, yeah, well, yeah. and some people reach out to me on, on DMs. I really usually wouldn't talk about it because I always say, hey, your life is your life. Whatever you do, <laughs> I don't judge you. you. When I say I don't judge, I really don't judge people. What they do and how they do it does not affect me. It doesn't bother me. I just say, you know, just don't hurt somebody else. But um, and some, when these girls reach out to me and they say, I want to be able to do this. I'm dating this guy because he's older and he looks after me. I, and, and, you know, I want to be that person. And I'm, sometimes I think some of these girls, you know, they have to be able to be as straight as possible. Like, say, hey, it's not, it's not so easy. You see, it wasn't long ago that in America, a lot of the ladies who were in the media came out and said they had to sleep with certain people. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a big thing, and they were suing some people. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm Weinstein. All of those kind of people were being sued. And, and I'm not saying that's what they should do here. I'm just saying that... <laughs> Sometimes honesty will help the others to understand that this was the process so they, they don't feel like failures if it doesn't happen. Yeah. One or two, it actually happens for them. But I think education is everything. So if you're in the media and you're, you're you know, projecting certain images that's not really real and you're not educated, please tell the, the kids you know, how it was really done. Yeah. I'm not saying anybody should be anybody's role, shouldn't be anybody's role model. Role model is relative. I mean, you know, some people might think I'm a role model, but yeah. I mean, I talk you about are. sex a lot, you know, yeah. and some people don't like it. So me, I'm a robot model to my children, you know, and, and, and that's enough for me. If somebody can see something in me that they like, and I hope they see the family, the love, the playfulness, and they take that from me. You know, the other bit, if you don't like it, don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's responsible for how they raise their own kids and, and the choices that they make as adults. Yes. So I don't, th I don't think that should be. And I don't an think issue. we should judge any woman who does whatever it is that you know. And yeah. so they should be a bit more honest. Not yeah. Demi Kano, not, yeah. I, I, it, it, this is this is perfect because if we are not real, we sort of uh, portray things that are too near perfect. Yes. And then that's where the depression and so on and so forth comes in. Yes. Because people see it and then it looks like it was so easy. It was so easy. So they get frustrated. And what them. are they doing wrong and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Yes. The yes, thing is, yes. the, hard, the road is hard. Yeah. Whether you open your legs or you don't, either yes. way, the road is hard. Yes. So they have to take that hard road to get to the point. You know, and I know sometimes some people, I say education is everything, but some people cannot afford education. Now, this is where the government comes in. They have to make it, you know, easier for people to, especially women, to be able to achieve something. You know, look, you went for Miss Malika, you're here, you're articulate. <laughs> you know, all of those kind of things, we need more of it yeah. to be able to help a lot more women. Because some are suffering, it's not fair. And then they do one thing and everybody's judging them. You shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that. Look at her, she's a slut. It's not, it's not, it's not yes, fair. But I think it's also from the individual perspective. We are too concerned about what everybody else says. Forgetting that we matter first before anybody else. But why are you worried about what other people say? Otherwise, keep your legs closed. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh and if you're worried, don't go to a part of your room and come yeah. out and look like and wipe your mouth and go, I didn't do anything. No, when you and know you did tell, it. And tell then, like, I'm about business holier and than that. now. I'm holier than now. That's why I don't like. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, then don't do it. Don't do it. Well, if you're going to worry about what somebody else thinks, don't do it. That's true. Now, if, if you're looking at relationships generally, mm -hmm. I mean, from where I sit, you have an amazing relationship or an amazing family. You know, we see you guys on social media and I'm not like you're saying, it doesn't mean it's a picture perfect kind of family, no. but we see the love, we see the bond, the expression, how everybody feels free. You as a mom, you feel free being yourself around mm -hmm. your kids. You know, we are from a cultural background where if your mother is supposed to be reserved and quiet and need a spotlight in the front seat to the younger ones. But I think that it's all about expressing who you are within and you sort of portray that with your family and you seem yeah. to have a very good relationship with your partner. So from that perspective, Give us some juice on how to make the right decisions with a partner and keep a good home despite our career choices. I think talking is everything. Open communication. I tell my husband everything when I'm thinking it and how I'm thinking it. I don't, you know, there's here sometimes, even some of my sister says, Oh, my man, she said, <laughs> Those are yeah. the things that actually, you know, break a relationship yeah. and even friendships cry. I talk about everything I'm about to do. Some people think if you talk about it, 
somebody's going to curse you. Yeah. I mean, so what? If you're going to be cursed, you be cursed. And I don't, <laughs> we believe in God. Yeah. We believe that God looks after us. We go to church to pray that this man is going to take care of us and mm. keep us safe. So why are you scared? Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. We're always scared. We live in, in fright yeah. and fear yeah. and fear. You're right. We live in it. But then we say we're God-fearing. So surely that man up there is going to guide your path. I believe in God 100%. I believe that whatever I say, and if I say to him, I say, hey, I need you to guide me, please. I talk to God like a friend. I go, hey, now what's your name? Oh, mommy. Uh -huh. Those are the kind of conversations. Yeah. We have our own personal line to God. Why are we looking to somebody else to tell us what we mm. should do? Yeah. I think have that conversation with him. Nobody's better off closer to God than you are. Definitely. I think you, if you believe in God, then he's there with you all the time. Definitely. That's what we represent. That's so amazing. I believe that. So whatever I do, I consult him in my head. Sometimes, well, I don't listen. But, <laughs> you know, may I be honest? Yeah. Sometimes I think, Well, oh, it's human no. to be that way, so. Yeah. But I think um, um, when it comes to family, I'm honest with my children. I talk to them about everything, um, anything. If I'm angry with their father and they hang around, kids are not stupid, they hear. Yeah. So even what, and they see. So when you're angry and you have moments, they see it. And if you're quiet about it, that's when they start to get quiet about their relationships. Yes. So if they see them a bit irritated, I'll call my, my children and say, your father's annoying me, <laughs> really is irritating me. And they say, mom, you're too harsh. Or mom, yeah, I know, I think dad did not understand that yeah. thing, maybe. And, and maybe it sort of helps to release the it tension It does, it releases yeah. the tension straight away. Not calling a friend and talking yeah. to them about it. Because yeah. that friend will give you some terrible advice. Yeah, yeah which you know, may you go against you. you. Yes. All right. So talk to, I talk to my children right yeah. from an early age. And they're not communication, silly. Communication, communication Communication, communication. And also with my husband, I don't shout at him. All right. It doesn't matter how angry I am. I go outside and I scream. <laughs> and this is a fact. Like, <clears throat> oh, like scream. you're so and fun I come to talk and I go, to. Okay. Now we have to have a conversation. Time, yes. Monotone we voice. Like, okay, you know, if you don't do this, I put the threats in there somehow, though. Yes. You know, it's still in my quiet voice. <laughs> well, let's go back to your new song. Yes, yes. Yeah, so sorry. we're going to have to listen to that. Oh, I'll be so amazed if you can do like a live session I through can. it for us. Okay, so we're ready for the song. Asemaba. <laughs> the video is coming soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. I'm out for. I'm out for. Your friend, me, a queer. Oh, Hinoa, Essienim, a cotocre, a quasohema. Mate, a summer. All right, a summer. I brought a step in a summer back, Ghana phone. Many be in a moment, Miss Risk, our coin. Did you think I came to fool or what? My son, dear, what I can't walk to school. Otherwise, we will go rich, child, in your soul. Funny, I'm speaking in tongues, bringing out true facts, prepping you for the real stats. Listen, let me break it down to you. I said, Mother, all right. I said, Mother, I bet it to me. Do you like to hump? You made it on your knees with a rubber dub dub. Confessions on the floor, your nails still raw, your mouth still sore, your lollipop broke. Brothers take you up to heaven, <laughs> tragic case like an accident. Oh, hold up for the president. <laughs> Jealousy fixed in your eyes. Yeah. Envy eating you up inside. Way. I'm rolling in it. I'm making money as you're faking it. I got the door to make you come. I ain't a fool, bitch. Everyone likes to talk, but I don't give a hoot. Takes more than your tits and ass. <laughs> You're humpty dump in the air. Why did you gain lose broke? As do you hump your go to spending on your heart and dollars tricky shit like your sex in your big belly hanging, <laughs> sucking fat from your gut to your ass for a doggy lover. Don't lick it up here. Oh, hold up for this bitch, Stephanie. One dress will buy your car, your whole little dime. She just didn't uh -huh. say that. Uh -huh. Smile on my 
face My smile will put you right back in your place You feel me? You're rolling in with the fat dude I'm rolling out with the rocks with my big Johnny He licks puss puss Oh Johnny, oh Johnny That was lit. Like it's getting for here. Because I was trying to skip some of the words because it's oh, lit. Oh, but this is lit. This is lit. This is lit. <laughs> thank, no, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's famous Thelma by Stephanie Benson herself. <laughs> she just turned up the heat in here and I'm like, okay, we need to close because it's Friday night now it's and Friday you just night. started a party. party. I'm going to Fridays. Fridays, yeah, in Sakumono, now. Okay, That's now, I'm just like, you heard that on the real show, so you can catch it yeah, there. Yeah, catch me there, come in, <laughs> let's hang out and have a drink. Oh, we've had an amazing Friday session. Friday's bar in Sakumono. Okay, so Friday bar in Sakumono, you can come there and have a session, come party with Stephanie herself, and we've had a lit segment tonight, and my name is Mahalia Bamford, catch a repeat tomorrow, 8.30 p.m., same time, have a lovely weekend. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,